With so many great games to play, it's not worth getting stuck with a bad one. The first hour of the game is revealing. If there's nothing there to hook you, then there's no reason to keep playing. Spec Ops The Line could be considered the series reboot, and is a modern take on this guy's novel, which also inspired this famous movie, and you can easily see the similarities in Spec Ops. A three-man team is sent to Dubai to rescue a US Army colonel, whose last message was about his failure to evacuate the city after devastating sandstorms. If you've read the book or have seen the movie, then you're right to assume Spec Ops deals with dark themes. Things are pretty gritty and the violence in Spec Ops has consequences for all parties involved. The story is intriguing and is one of the stronger points in Spec Ops, but the setting is the defining point. Dubai is eerie and grandiose. It's like the rapture of the sands. It was awesome to explore the city and to be able to use the sand and destroyed environments to my advantage. Take out. Everyone move. I'd consider the controls above average and they won't get in the way of your immersion, but they won't redefine third person gameplay either. The game was a standard challenge, and when I died it was more from carelessness rather than sheer difficulty. There are multiple difficulty levels to choose from, and checkpoints do the saving for you. Checkpoints also make it an easy game to find a stopping point, and it can be enjoyed in quick play sessions. Shotgun, Got one. The banter between characters was believable, and it seemed like the trio has been through a lot together. Nolan North voices the main character. At the start of the game, all I could hear was a gruff Nathan Drake. But as time went on, I could tell this was a completely different character. God damn it. Lugo, mark the bodies on tack. Adams, check outside for tracks. <sighs> I want to know what the hell is going on in this city. The game feels like it will be really quick, and I highly doubt there will be replay value when finished. It does seem like a good Leisure Gamer title, one that tells an engaging story with a remarkable setting, a game that can be finished in a few play sessions and can leave you with memorable moments. Ah! 